to English News Bulletin of Hallabol. This is Rashmi here with you. Before moving to the details, let us have a look at the day's headlines. Shri Vikram Kumar Dorai Swami appointed as the next High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh. Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Deb inaugurated single window system through Swagat program at the Secretariat. Once again, miserable condition of COVID care center came up through live video of patient in Facebook. Six rebel organizations of Northeast jointly called for ban on India's Independence Day. In details, Shri Vikram Kumar Dorai Swami has been appointed as the next High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh. He is going to replace Mrs. Riva Ganguly Das at Dhaka. Shri Vikram Kumar Dorai Swami, IFS 1992, presently appointed as the additional secretary in the ministry, has been appointed as the next High Commissioner of India to the People's Republic of Bangladesh. The Ministry of External Affairs announced that Dorai Swami is expected to take up the assignment shortly. Vikram Kumar Dorai Swami has a master's degree in history from the Delhi University and can converse in Chinese and Urdu and also known as mattering of French. Senior diplomat Vikram Kumar Dorai Swami is is going to succeed incumbent Riva Ganguly Das as the Indian envoy in Dhaka. He was an earlier India's ambassador to the South Korea and also joint secretary of the America's division in the external affairs ministry from 2012 till 2014. Riva Ganguly Das will return to New Delhi to be the secretary east in the external affairs ministry after serving as the high commissioner in Dhaka for a little over a year. Bureau report, Halabol. Once again, pathetic unhygienic condition of COVID care center of Bishram Ganj came up through a Facebook live of a COVID patient. The patient pointed out Minister Rotul Nalnath's comment saying, I have not done the, this for publicity, rather because I am suffering badly. Once again, miserable and pathetic condition of COVID care center came up through a woman's live video over social media. This time, the video depicted the poor and unhygienic condition in the Bishram Ganj COVID care center. Said, patients are allegedly forced to clean rooms, bathrooms and toilets. It is worthy to be mentioned that after repeated allegations from the patients, nothing much have changed in the COVID care centers in the state under Health Minister Biplav Kumar Dev. Once again, Facebook Live of another woman proved the same when she showed the dirt and unclean fill the situation in the COVID care center. Plastic bottles, dirty things were seen thrown across. No proper food distribution was done, alleged the woman. Addressing in her social media live video, the woman said, few things are present in the center which can't be sh shown or said. Such miserable condition is existing here. She also added, I think maybe the condition of Bhagat Singh COVID care center is much better than that of Bisham Ganj. We are COVID positive, but we are forced to clean rooms, bathrooms, even toilet. Only two times rice is given, no fruit, no extra tiffin. If patient party is coming and giving fruit, only then they are able to eat or else there is nothing to eat. Good morning, Shavaike. আসলে আমি বিশ্রামগঞ্জ কোভিড সেন্টারে আছি আর কি তো এখানে কিছু অবস্থা আছে যেটা মানে সহ্য করার মতো না দেখার মতো না কিছু মানে থাকার মতো অবস্থা একদমই নাই তোমরা একটু দেখো তো এরকম কি হয় কি কোন জায়গার ভিতরে আমি তো কইতে পারতাম না এমন হয় কি না ভগত সিং এ যাওয়া হইছিল ভগত সিং ও হয়তো বা এরকম অবস্থা আমি দেখলাম না তোমরা একটু দেখো তো যে কি হালে আমরা আসি আর এই আমরার সাফ করতে লাগতেছে پیشنটরা এমন অবস্থার মধ্যে নিজে করোনা পজিটিভ
she further alleged now the question is that whether we patients have come to do all this here also while displaying the filthy atmosphere across the covid care center of bishamganj the woman pointed out towards law minister rotul nanak's comment where he alleged the woman showing the dirty atmosphere of bhagat singh covid care center he said the woman did the video for publicity while saying this the woman added i am doing the video just because i am suffering bureau report halabol Six rebel organizations of northeast jointly called for ban on India's Independence Day on 15th August. Six rebel organizations of the northeast jointly called for total ban on India's Independence Day celebration in the west eastern southeast Asia (VC) region. In a press release, the organizations called for total shutdown of the entire region for 11 hours, that is, from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. on 15th of August this year. They also called upon all people of this region to take responsibilities to make this ban a success. The six organizations include Assam and West Bengal Outfit Organization. organization kamatapur liberation organization klo karbi anglong based organization people's democratic council of kabilongri pdck manipur based kanglai pak communist party kcp tripura's national liberation front of tripura nlft manipur's kanglai yawal kanna loop kykl and meghalaya based organization haini trip national liberation council hnlc in their joint press release the organization said we C is a unique case in the totality of India. The peripheral rimland colonies are different from the heartland India. Racial discrimination against the mongoloid looking people of VC has been prevalent for a long time in the mainland India. They alleged that they are compelled to continue to bear the unbearable racial discrimination as they were starved of unemployment and other opportunities in their own homelands. The representatives further added the representatives of the respective revolutionary organizations declared to ban India's Independence Day celebrations. Bureau report Halabol Under the rule of BJP government in Tripura many electronic and print media has been attacked till date local daily newspaper daily desher katha was also shut down by the ruling BJP government is media really the fourth pillar of democracy the masters of the ruling BJP government in the state are really afraid of the media whether it be electronic or print and most importantly those who don't sell news for business after the bjp ipft government came into power it attacked the bengali daily newspaper daily desher katha whether it be accumulation of news items by the reporters or while delivering newspapers house to house also government advertisements were stopped also many electronic houses faced attacks of the bjp hooligans telecast of the news bulletin had been halted at various subdivisions Question arises the suited booted BJP government ministers who boast about democracy and sovereignty and give long fabricated speeches where have their ethics gone when the fourth pillar of democracy that is the media is attacked question also arises whose independence are we celebrating murdering the independence of media who has the sent person right to deliver truth and real news items to show the people of the state the reality of any incident daily desher katha newspaper of tripura on the case at the high court setting an example that truth always finds a way here it should be reminded that not every print or electronic media is backboneless ignoring the red blooded eyes of the ruling bjp government in the state the media will deliver everyday incidents of crime murder rape corruption poor facilities of the covid care centers mismanagement and misrule going on in the hira era through all these courageous news items the weaknesses of the ruling saffron government would come up as clear as the morning sky if all these attacks are not stopped the opposition promises to grow huge movement bureau report halabol The Congress took a swipe on the Modi led central government condemning that the BJP government is clearly against the secular democratic sovereign and fraternal fibers of India also launched a program with the hashtag BJP ka nakli rashtrawad Along with the hashtag BJP ka nakli rashtrawad Congress took a swipe on the BJP government under 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi condemning that BJP is clearly against the secular, democratic, sovereign and fraternal fibers of our country. The Congress asked the people of the country to highlight the BJP's anti-national traits in their social media platforms. The Congress raised delegations saying that the BJP prides itself on being nationalist and calls all those who question as decent or speak against them as anti-nationals. However, their understanding of nationalism which involves democracy, secularism, fraternity, brotherhood, unity, sovereignty and more. The Congress claimed that these elements are far from what the BJP believes in, which in fact is doing best to destroy their existence. The Congress further added, even if we go back in time, it is a well-known fact that the RSS not only didn't participate in the freedom movement, but instead promised their loyalty to the British government. Alkar criticized RSS members who wanted to join this independence movement. The Hindu Mahasabha boycotted the Quit India movement at Hejwar. The founder of RSS said that the RSS has an organization which would stay strictly away from the most vibrant of struggles for independence. The Congress questioned how can BJP, an extension of the ideological beliefs of the RSS, then be nationalistic? If the BJP had understood and respected the concept of sovereignty, India's territorial integrity would not be compromised by the Chinese under this watch. Likewise, friendly countries wouldn't turn hostile like Nepal did by altering its map to include Indian territory in it. Further, if the BJP understood democracy, it wouldn't topple democratically elected governments, crack down on free speech or disregard parliamentary procedures. Bringing in the CAA and NRC, the BJP has revealed its absolute disregard for the principles of secularism by linking them to religion. Moreover, 90% of the hate crimes based on religious hatred have occurred after the BJP came into power in the year 2014. Bureau Report, Halabol. Well, that's all from the English desk at this moment. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Halabol.